Welcome back, everybody, to my reactions. Today, we are finally starting off a new series called Clonaut After Story. I know that the Slorg wanted me to watch the first season, and probably this season, of course, uh, back back when, like 2019-ish, while I was still doing My Little Pony. Um, <laughs> disregard that. This is not that. Um, very excited to, to continue the series. Uh, I remember we left off with Nagisa and Tomoya uh, getting in love. <laughs> they confessed their love for each other. Thank God. Um, it was a very cool... Um, not cool. It was a very fun <laughs> little slice of life romance. Which, um, it left me with a good taste. It left me wanting more. So I'm definitely excited to see this season. Uh, I think, like, over a month ago since I saw the, the last episode of season one. And I also watched the Tomoyo uh, side story, which uh, <clears throat> it was fun. Um, as you know, with anime, you, t you tend to forget uh, a lot of names. So I, I think, at least I know Nagisa, Tomoya, Tomoyo, uh, Fuko, of course. <laughs> she just shows out of nowhere. Show shows up out of nowhere. Uh, this is always fun. Uh, I think Rion and Keon, I think that's their name. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think that was it. Um, yeah. But I'm very excited to continue it. Uh, as I know that uh, Clone After Story has a very high rating on my anime list, which is where I will get most of my like rating scores and like see how highly rated shows are. Um, I watch shows that are down to like 7.5. I can't remember. I think it was uh, I think it was New Game I saw that was rated that way, and I like that. So I think it doesn't really. Um, you can't dictate your view, your viewing of shows on a rating if you if you like that kind of stuff. You know, I like I'm a slice of life guy, so I will immediately love slice of life animes because I don't know I, I just get I guess I just get so into it. So um, yeah, um, we're gonna kick this off with today's reaction of Clonad. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you will get a less than ten minutes ish uh, little compilation of uh, the best parts. Uh, as I dictate it and if you want to check out the full reaction make sure you follow the link in the description which will take you to my patreon uh, yeah so uh, that'll be where that we where you can find that and without further ado let's go into episode one of after story let's go there was also like a mechanized robot with a little girl which I'm, I'm still in confusion as to what the hell that was about Daddy. God, I love this family so much. Just bring all the horror, man. You, you can get all the harm into the team. I can really feel this episode right now. It is so hot in here right now today. It hasn't really been hot the past few days, but today, oh, scorching, of course. Yeah, Tomoyo is gonna absolutely demolish the baseball field, man. <laughs> I will never get enough of the very high rate physical abuse between these two. They're made for each other. Don't you agree? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's a coming. <laughs> God, how's that gonna work out? Touchy subject. But that needs to get resolved in this season, I feel. Especially since this is the last, like, content of Clonod. I, uh, I'm very curious as to how it's gonna go with the father. Yeah, this is gonna be quite a... God damn, that animation looks so cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I am looking forward to see Tomoyo's <laughs> pitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Just swing it slightly and it'll go interstellar. She's so pure, I love it. Damn! 
<laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh god. What happened? Oh. <laughs> For a second I thought he hit his... No, not the shin. Not the shins. Oh, I feel that pain so bad. Oh. I thought I got it in his crotch, man. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking broke the sound barrier, man. Alright. What is this? This is a big brain strategy. <laughs> right. Go on with that. Well, you hit it, so <laughs> who am I to say? Oh, yeah, I forgot about his shoulder. You're out. <laughs> really? Again? <laughs> okay, well, at least you call the timeout. Everyone in the harm, please say good luck. Oh my god, I am really feeling this episode. It is midsummer and it is mid sweating, sweltering, melting right now. I'm glad they're kicking the, 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 the season off with a. Mostly comedy, because I'm pretty sure it's going to get worse. Not worse as in bad, but worse as in... <sighs> emotional or something, I don't know. Hopefully it's a good kind of emotional. Kanpai! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, he did it. You know, if you ever got a damaged body part, just do it. Don't worry about it, just do it. Wow, that's a good an animation. Very good animation. Oh, hey, this again. That is so weird. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna skip the preview. I have no idea what the hell that is about. There's this little mechani mechanized teddy bear with uh, with some girl. I can't remember what she looked like right now, but I know there's like a little girl, um, like walking around with it or doing things or fixing its body or something. And I feel like it's got something to do with the show in a way. I look at that Italian flag. <laughs> Never mind. You can't see what I'm seeing. It's got to have something to do with the show or some sort of metaphor or some sort of like foreshadowing in, in some way What about that? I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just have to keep watching to figure it out. Very fun episode. Very nice intro to the to the season um, I am excited to see where it goes because obviously they're kicking it off with like a, oh, this is such a cute season and I've been there before I know what it's all about and they're starting it off with something like Taking you, you know, catching you off guard and lowering, you're lowering your guard anyway. Uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this first episode, uh, this first reaction. Glad to be back. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, which will be out tomorrow. Make sure you watch out for that. Take care. Bye.